He's right by it. Oh, he just, he just slammed it. He ate it. Got him. Got him. Got him. I got him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, guys, that's a big gar. Okay, guys, I've seen a gar. This is literally the first gar I've seen in like, I don't know, hours. Really, really hope that this thing does not get spooked. It's a good size. Perfect eating size. Okay. He's right by it. Oh, he just, he just slammed it. He ate it. Oh, we're eight. Oh, we're bit. All right. If you guys can see my bobber right there. You guys cannot see my bobber at all. Okay, yep. You can see the bobber. I'll zoom in and there's a fish underneath it taking off with it right now. We got ourselves a gar, baby. I'm gonna let him swim with it. Cause we got him. Got him. <laughs> got him. Yes. Got myself a gar. No. No. Get back here. No, he's in the water. Oh. First gar I've seen in like three hours. What happened? Did he cut me off? Nope. Somehow he spit the hook. Should have let him eat longer. He's turning. Okay, the bait's right by him. Oh, he's turning. Oh, he got the bait. No way. All right, guys, we got the guard on. He has got that bait. It's just in his mouth, though. Set a timer for one minute. Setting the timer. All right, guys. Okay. So he's got the it. timer is set for one minute. All right, guys, so the guard's got the bait in his mouth. But I'm not going to swing until this gar has it for at least a minute. I'll let out some line, check my drag. Okay. Drag seems good. Alright, so there just went the timer. I'm going to let him just eat it another second. I don't think he's fully got it yet. Oh no, he's got it. He's got it. He just went back in that grass. He's definitely got it. Come on. Got him. Yeah, he's on. He's fighting good. <sighs> Lost another gar. I think that one cut me off. Yep, cut me off. Damn! Cut me off. Okay, guys, I just saw a gar. Please say he's still there. Please stay right there, buddy. Please. Okay, he's underneath the bobber. I can see him, he's, he's big. Okay, he sees it. Okay, he just snapped at the bait. Okay, guys, we, Gar is eating. Come on, buddy, put it in the back of your mouth. I got him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, guys, that's a big gar. Get over here, buddy. Oh. Look at that bend, guys. Look at the bend in that rod. Come here, buddy. Net in hand. Come here. He's good size, he's not too small. That's a good size gar. Oh, don't spit that hook. Don't you dare. Where are you trying to go, buddy? Buddy, come on. I don't know if I got him. Where is he? There he is. Oh yeah, he's in that net. Half of him is. Not his full body. No. Okay, he's swimming out of that net. I need to get that head in the net. Please don't bust me off, I got 30. I got him. 
We got them, guys. We got them. Woo! That's it right there, guys. Gar, catch, clean, and cook. Whew! Coming at you guys. We got them. Oh, man. Mm. I mean, would you guys just look at that mouth? Like, that mouth right there means business. Like, you do not want to mess with that mouth. Oh. I mean, those teeth. I mean, look at that thing. So as you guys can see, they have like these lines in their scales. You're gonna stick your knife in between one of the lines, like right there. And then it meets up at a V at the top. So you'll turn your blade and that's how you'll be able to do it. I'm gonna chop off a little bit extra of the head because I'm gonna preserve the head and the hide. Let's do it. All right, so now that I've taken my EMT shears, I've gone all the way down the length of the fish down to this back tail. And then I'm gonna do the same thing that I did up at the head. I'm gonna take that vertical line and follow it down to the bottom tail and do that on both sides. And then we'll be able to get to that nice white meat on the inside. And then I slit it on each side up at the head. And now the last thing to do is, well, not the last thing, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our knife and you guys can see this top membrane, go underneath the membrane, but in between the meat down in here. Don't want to hit the meat down in here, but you don't want to get any of that membrane in either. So go in between the two and fillet the thing out. All right, guys, so the GoPro just died, but you guys saw all the hard part. Uh, it's a little hard getting the meat to separate from the skin like that. Uh, it starts like that, and then you're going to have to get it to go like that. It's going to take a little bit of force, but once you get it, you're going to agree with some nice white fillets that are going to be completely boneless that we're going to fly out right now. All right, guys, so these are the seasonings that I'm going to be using to cook it. So I have all my seasonings poured into this bowl, and I'm going to put a lid on top to give it a shake. And if you guys want, I'll put all the uh, ingredients that I used down in the description below if you guys want to check it out. Then to a smaller bowl, I'm going to add one egg and way too much milk. Much. Then I'm going to give that a stir. Then we're going to coat our pieces of gar. So you take a little one by one piece of gar, throw it in the breadcrumbs, uh, the seasoned breadcrumbs, and th fully coat it. Set it off to the side. Do that with all your pieces. Then throw them into the milk mixture and then back into the breadcrumbs to double coat them. Do this with all your pieces. Then I'm gonna dump some vegetable oil in a uh, pot, get that up to temperature, and then throw in my fish. I believe this fish takes about a minute, but it kind of just depends. Basically just do it till it's golden brown and white on the inside. Just readjust, go to the paper pot. Then I'm going to set it onto a couple paper towels to, and pat it dry. Last but not least, I'm going to throw a little bit of lemon juice on top, and you're good. Here I have my plate of fried gar. Put a little bit of lemon juice on top. Wow, it's actually really good. It's better than I thought it was going to be. I kind of thought it might have a little bit of like a muddy taste to it. Um, just cause Gar's kind of usually known as like a trash fish, but it's actually really good. All right, so I know that I did a great job reviewing this, but anyways, most people, and especially the locals in Louisiana, consider this fish a trash fish, at least from the people that I talked to. So I wanted to try it for myself and it was actually pretty good. I was pleasantly surprised. If you guys have any questions, you can leave a comment down below. Or if you want to shoot me a DM over Instagram, my Instagram is at Diego Fishing Sand. And other than that, I have nothing else for you guys. And until next time, I'll catch you out on the water. Till then, tie lines.